Hey guys, it's Abby from Autumn of Pelinor and today I am doing my August reading wrap up. So this month I actually started working in a full time job on the 17th I think of August and as expected my reading went down the drain pretty, pretty quickly. Um, <laughs> I'm not used to working full time, I do have chronic migraines so that means that I'm gonna just kind of come in and crash and yeah my reading really was impacted a lot so I'm glad I read as much as I did at the beginning of the month so let's go through that first. I was doing an A to Z TBR, I will link it up here I think and it went okay and then it failed. <laughs> I didn't deviate all that far from it but it, it, you, you'll see. So the first book I read was A Dark Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This was for the Booktube Rereadathon hosted by Abby Mac Reads and Alec Black Reads and I read this because I couldn't remember what it was about. I wanted to reread it and it begins with an A. Perfect. This was a lot of fun. I gave it four out of five stars which is the same rating as I gave it the first time. I really enjoyed the magic system and the various worlds that we get to jump through and I am more interested now in reading the rest of these books. Then I read The Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve Tuchalk and I gave this five stars. It's amazing. The only thing that I didn't like about it was that I wish that it had spent longer in certain locations that they travelled to but this is based off of a an epic poem and so it does make sense that things move along quite speedily but this was absolutely beautiful. It follows some women who basically do mercy kills so if someone is dying, sickly, things like that then they will go along and give them a mercy kill for an easier death. And they deviate from this and decide to go and help a community in the north of their country who is facing some trouble by a beast. It, this is fantastic, I adored it. Then I read Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. This was better for me than Throne of Glass. So we're told that Selena Sardothian is this amazing, awesome assassin and you don't see that in Throne of Glass in any way, shape, nor form. Whereas in Crown of Midnight this definitely shows up a lot more. You actually get to see her be this person that we've told that we've been told she is. So rather than being told that she's amazing, we're shown it. So I definitely much more appreciated that and I liked the way that the relationships between all of the characters were developing. So this was a lot more interesting, but I do want some time before I delve into the rest of the series. Then I read Dark Purpose by A.B. Endicott. This is the second book in the Dark Trilogy in the God Kiss Continent series, um, which is a very large series and I adore it. This was beautiful. I'm really excited to read Dark Heart, which is the last book in the trilogy. I obviously can't say too much, but the first book, which is Dark Intent, Yes. <laughs> Dark Intent follows a woman called Freya and she is a healer but she is of the faith which is kind of treated as second class citizens. There's two faiths in this country and her faith is treated as second class but she has worked her way up through her powers of healing and through hard work to be respected in the society of the Cade which is the other religion despite her being pious. And this is about her basically going fuck that bullshit. It's great. I love it. Alice's writing is some of my absolute favourite. Then I read Eve of Man by Giovanna and Tom Fletcher. I kind of wasn't expecting to like this because it's written by like the guy from McFly and his wife, but I did. This was quite fun. This wasn't a five star read, but it was like a good four. It was really entertaining. There was a bit of... Um, the plot flowed slightly too easy. It's very much a stereotypical YA in terms of how the plot flows, but they do keep enough interest in the storyline itself that you can kind of let it get away with that. And I would like to carry on with this series, so I'm really grateful that my parents gifted this to me. Then I finally finished the Wind on Fire trilogy and read Fire Song by William Nicholson. My favourite is still um, Saves of the Mastery, that is still definitely my favourite book in this trilogy, but this was a really fun one. It's a, I think it's a middle grade series that I have owned for far too many years and this is just a really beautiful, well wrapped up ending to it. I really enjoyed the extra additions that they made and the expansions that they made on what they had mentioned in previous books and it is an older middle grade series but I did enjoy it and I wish I'd read it when I got it because I would have loved it. And the last book I finished this month 
is Good Me, ba <laughs> Good Me Bad Me by Alioland. I read this, sat on the sofa while my boyfriend was playing Destiny. Uh, so I read it all in one sitting basically and it was alright. It was fine. There was nothing very bad about it. But what annoyed me is the way that it was marketed and the way that it makes it sound is that I can't say it without spoiling it. Basically the way that this is marketed is not the way that the book actually comes across until the end and it just seems stupid. And I can't say any more without spoiling it but like if you've read it and you want to discuss how annoying it is I will happily tell you. So those are the one two three four five six seven those are the seven books that I have finished this month. Now because this was the A to Z TBR, I was supposed to be reading a book beginning with H next, which would have been, I, ugh, pick it up, it's over here. <laughs> Ta-da! So that would have been Air of Fire, and I, as you can see, I have started it. I'm like, what is it? Six pages in, wow. And I just really wasn't feeling this. It was too soon after reading Crown of Midnight, and I just needed a break from the story. So I was like, all right, cool, I'll leave that there. I'll leave my bookmark in it in case I do decide to come back to it and I will move on to the letter I and that is where we stop for this month so that is In the Midst of Life by Jennifer Worth this is the fourth book I believe in her set of memoirs the first one is called The Midwife if you're British you will 100% know it it has been adapted by the BBC into a TV show which is absolutely beautiful and does the books justice I 100% recommend it and this is more looking at people's dying, people's end of life care. And it is incredibly interesting, but I have yet to finish it. I am 176 pages through. So there is, you know, still a bit left to go. I could finish this. I am pre-filming it a little, uh, cause I only have today to film. Today is the Saturday before the end of the month. So I am pre-filming. There is a chance that I'll finish this, but I don't know for sure, for sure, and it's just because work is so hectic. I obviously can't read while I'm at work. I can't read on the bus to or from work because I get travel sick, so I've been catching up on all the podcasts that I've missed. I know I could do audiobooks, but it's just, just not feeling it right now. And so then when I get home, I just want to crash. Case in point, today is Saturday, Friday night. I uh, crashed fully dressed at about 7 p.m. and I woke up at 8 a.m. this morning. <laughs> I missed everything. Missed my meds, missed having some sort of like food later in the evening, I ignored my boyfriend for hours. I was tired. I was very tired. We had a test on Friday morning. So yeah, it, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been busy. So I would like to try and get more into reading, but I think that my reading is definitely going to slow back down to more like how it was at the beginning of lockdown. And I'm just gonna have to be okay with that, which is kind of annoying and kind of sad, but it'll be fine. <laughs> so yes, maybe I've read this and maybe I haven't. Because of that, I'm not gonna be doing the stats anymore at the end of each month. It requires a little bit of prep going through my laptop and stuff, and my laptop is old, so it takes like half an hour to boot up. And instead, I just still wanna be able to make these videos for you guys. I do enjoy video making, I do enjoy the editing and the uploading and being able to chat with you lot. Just trying to find a way to balance it. I've never had a permanent full-time job and the only other full-time job I had was retail, which is very different. <laughs> so yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully I do manage to read this and hopefully there will have been a long enough break that I can do this. You can guess, I'm gonna post my September TBR, probably here, but you can guess what books will be coming up in that and yes let me know how your reading month has went how are you guys finding lockdown it is very weird I have to go into the office for work which I don't enjoy because I have to get the bus in because I don't drive I don't have a driving license and then obviously I'm in the office and it's weird when you're in that environment to remember to social distance like we'll go and walk out be like oh yeah we'll go get lunch and we have to remember to stay two meters apart and it's really weird having spent six months no for since the beginning of lockdown i've spent it in this house so i didn't have to like consciously remember to distance from people and having to do that now is just odd and i'm sure you guys have been doing it for months but this is new to me okay <laughs> 
So yeah, it's it's really odd and I have to be honest, I'm not enjoying it. But it does mean money coming in. As you guys probably know, I still live with my parents, so it does mean I can pay them some rent so that they're not covering all of my expenses. And yeah, it could be a lot worse, so I shouldn't complain. Thank you so much for watching guys and for sticking with me while I'm exploring this new territory and I will see you in my next video. Bye!